without any further ado, I'm going to turn the proceedings over to our host, somebody that you all know, Mr. Bob Parker. When the American wine critic Robert Parker announced on February 5th, 2011, that he would stop judging California wines, his announcement sent shockwaves through the global wine industry. I can't escape, I can't escape. What would Robert Parker say? Escaping Robert Parker every night and day. Haverá alguém no mundo do vinho capaz de escapar a Robert Parker? You couldn't really do a film about a winemaker without including Robert Parker uh, because his influence in the wine industry is so gigantic. Um, and so the film grew to become titled Escaping Robert Parker. And it's about this winemaker trying to escape Parker by, by making the wine he wants to make and selling it the way he wants to. But it's also about the whole wine industry and the wine consumer uh, learning to rely on Robert Parker less than they have up until now. Amado por uns, quase odiado por outros, Parker é como um deus do vinho. Tal a omnipresença do célebre sistema de pontuação, 50, 100 pontos. A dominância de Parker has meant that a lot of people think if I don't like what Parker likes, there's something wrong with my taste buds. Escaping Robert Parker confrontou o poder do americano com o idealismo de um jovem produtor francês, Julian Faulkner. Mas outro americano, o realizador da película, recusa a ideia de Parker estar demonizado. I think it's true that Parker, you know, is the dominant figure in wine. He's the most important single person in the wine industry. And I think I think even as we look to what comes after Parker, I also think we have to kind of respect what Parker's done because for 30 years uh, he has brought a certain rigor to the idea of judging wine and rating wine. And I think the wine industry as a whole has benefited from that, even the the famous chateau and also the smaller producer. So I think that that's been a great gift Robert Parker has given the wine industry and the wine consumer and that's been through all his hard work and dedication. So there's 10% of wine that's made in the world which does not have a consumer who's going to drink it. God knows what happens to it, but it really puts in a huge amount of pressure on producers and on prices. Não é difícil percebermos a mensagem principal deste filme documentário. O poder da crítica de vinhos está demasiado concentrada numa só figura. Escape em Robert Parker merece ser visto com toda a atenção por um sem número de pormenores que retratam os bastidores do mundo do vinho. Em Portugal, em estreia europeia, o filme de Ed Burley foi apresentado durante o Douro Film Harvest, uma sessão que decorreu no auditório das Caves Callan, em Gaia. Não, nós não escapamos.